Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou from the Messy Craft Corner. Hello, you guys. Hello, 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 hello. Do, 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 do. Just checking my glue, checking my glue, checking my glue, turning my sound off. Turning my sound off, you know why? Because I have to get, <sighs> we're canning turkey tomorrow and I forgot to tell Larry to get the, uh, the thingamabobber out, so I'm going to have to tell him that. So, hello, Chris Spencer Little. Welcome, your first one here, girly. First one here. All right, I'm going to tell my first ones here. Hello, Angela. Um, first ones here. Um, it is the Thrift Flip event hosted by Lisa Taylor from Tailored Creations. You guys, there's a free group. You can join in the description of the video. Hello, Jessica Morgan and Carrie King Hall, two amazing supporters of the page. Um, this book, it had... I got too many things sitting here to show y'all. Um, I got it from the thrift store and I got it for really inexpensive because it was missing the front cover. Um, so all that was attached was the pages into the book like, like this. Okay. And this was tore and I thought, well, this would be a good thrift flip. Hello, Kelly Cat Crafts, new watcher from Wisconsin. Awesome. Welcome. Hope you like paper crafting. Okay, so uh, this is going to turn into a junk journal. So I pulled this all off. I am not going to use the cover. I may, however, turn this into a bookmarker for the book, but that's something I've shown you guys how to do. We can do it as a reel. Something super easy. So I have laid out already two signatures worth of some papers okay the paper that i'm going to use in this collection is absolutely gorgeous totally awesome cartabella paper and it's called school days and the name of the book is richard scary's best little word book ever so i was thinking school this would be great for a little school book okay so i kept the story intact these are my pages that i'm going to add to this i kept the book actually intact there are only two signatures Hang on one second. Yes, I am. I am live. Come say hello. It's And it's a half hour past my normal time to be live, but that's okay. So um, what I want to do is I'm going to show you how I kind of lay things out for a signature. But I want to show you what can you do if your book is not a book. If you get a book, because sometimes you can go to yard sales and stuff and grab a book like this that has no front cover. Hello, Tanya. Thank you so much for telling the Crafty Bunch that I was live. Appreciate it. Um, so what I did was I cut some chipboard down and I got my paper ready. Now I'm using this really pretty blue paper for no other reason other than it matches the collection for one and two. I have some of it and I don't hardly ever use it. And I didn't want to use blue. I didn't want to use, I mean, I didn't want to use black. I didn't want to use white. I didn't want to use all of that. So, um, thank you, Lisa Taylor. Um, could someone who is in here now, just one of you, don't you all go doing it. Could someone who is in, um, your messy craft corner, could you please sprinkle this into your messy craft corner for me, please? Chrissy will not delete it. I promise you. Okay. So I cut some chipboard. Now this is heavier weight chipboard. I am going to be carrying chipboard in the shop. I know some of you. This is the blue. This is, this is a grayish brown. This is the chipboard, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to be carrying chipboard in the Shopify. Also in the Shopify, you guys, there is dictionary paper. You're going to see me use some dictionary paper in this book. So um, if you're wondering where you can get dictionary paper, you can purchase from me. So my chipboard pieces measure. Now listen, I <laughs> it's going around in a circle here. They measure this size. Let me tell you, these are uh, seven inches by eight and a half. Okay, and then uh, so you need two of those front cover, back cover, and then this is just two and a half, two and a half by eight and a half, and then this is going to be plenty big enough for me to add three signatures into. Now, I am going to hopefully, if we get a chance, I'll show you how to use this to stitch these in. If we don't get a chance, we have an hour, we probably will get to it. If I don't get a chance to show you how to use this tool, this is a book binding tool by We Are Memory Keepers and I highly recommend this if you're gonna be making 
Sisters Empowering Sisters. Together we can. I like that. That's cool. I've seen you. I've seen you, uh, Miss Sisters. What's your name? Um, Mon Cherie Crafty Creations, Creative Creations. She is next, you guys. Her link is in the description of the video. So you're watching an event today. Sisters Empowering Sisters. I love that. Because really, we're all sisters, you know? Well, unless you're a brother, then you're a brother. But, you know, we're all just hanging out and being friends. <laughs> okay. No, no disrespect meant for anybody. But, yeah, that's cool. Sisters Empowering Sisters. You guys check them out then. Okay. So, the paper pack I'm using for the decorating part and some of the um, add-ons into the book are going to be from this pack, School Days. I only bought one pack of this. Whatever possessed me to buy only one pack. I don't know. But I did. So... Thanks, you guys, so much for blessing the mess. Okay, so I'm just going to add some double-sided stick tape here. You guys, this is it. I cannot start any more books. You guys, listen, November is coming. I think I'm going to, instead of doing No Shop November, because I didn't really like that last year, <laughs> I think this year, I think we do a No New Book November. I think Jimmy Lou has to finish up all of these books sitting around here. You guys, I have I have two. This is the second one in two days that I started. Um, three books in the past three days. Um, I have a fourth one that I started in the past three days. So, you guys, I th what do you think? I think it's a no, a no, start a new book. No new book November. What do you guys think? Will you help me do it? At least until I get these done. Thank you. Thank you, um, Tanya. Thank you so much. You guys going to help me do it, not let me start any new books? It's Angie's fault. I'm just going to put it out there. Angie from the Crafty Bunch, it's your fault. Because you give us these amazingly great um, themes, and they don't piggyback one another. They don't piggyback one another. So then I'm stuck starting, I'm stuck starting new books because... Oh. So what do you think? You guys going to help me out with that? Do, do, do. We're just looking for 50 sets of eyes. We get 50 and we'll add some names to the drawing. The drawing will be Monday morning, 10 a.m. We'll draw for the glue machine, okay? Sister Lisa. No, wait. Did I miss it? Was the sisters, the sister, the sisters. <laughs> um, did she say her name is Lisa? Or are you talking about Lisa Lisa? Okay. So I'm just adding some double-sided tape. This is not a lot. Um, to the book page, you guys. This is not right. Oh, I was enjoying using that big, fat roll of tape. And now I'm back down to my skinny mini stuff. That's okay. Yes, we did. We hit it, didn't we? All right, let's get some names for in the drawing. You've never seen junk journals done before? Oh, ha, ha, you're in for a treat. Because, listen, there, you can make junk journals out about just about anything. And for me to be doing this and showing you how to do it, how to create, we're creating a cover because the cover of the book. And I've showed how to break the covers down. But you guys that want to uh, start planning, in July, I'm going to be picking dates this weekend. In July, we're going to be doing a um, Newfoundland. Welcome. Um, we're going to be doing a uh, a junk journal class in July, and you will get a little golden book. Now, I can't make promises as to what golden book that you'll get, but you'll get a golden book in order to create a junk journal. So, um, if you can manage to come to Pennsylvania. Uh, or you live in Pennsylvania and would like to join us, keep an eye out for details. Also, those of you who uh, are signed up for the Reader's Digest, the next kit, those, yes, 2023. And then uh, the next uh, Reader's Digest class, those kits, I'm going to start invoicing you this weekend. So, all right, so we're adding some glue. So I'm going to borrow Shauna from Fraps and Scraps saying tape for today, glue for tomorrow. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying. Um, but that's why we do it. That's why we do tape and glue. I am centering this over top of the center of 
whoops, I dropped it. It's, it's going where it's going. Um, of where I pieced this eight and a half by 11 paper together. Okay. And this is a heavier weight chipboard. So that way we can get a lot more, a lot of more uh, in there. Okay. Everybody do that. Uh, you want to get some guts in there. All right. Let's just line this up. Trim that up. Boy, I got a little crooked somewhere. Okay. And then we're going to add this. Not flat up against. We're adding it a little bit. An eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch in between. So what you do with them afterwards is you can use them to write in. I, I leave a lot of um, blank pages in mine for writing. Uh, you can add photos like this book here. I would use this as like a first day school book, um, maybe first day kindergarten. Uh, or, you know, if you want to add pictures for, you know, your kiddo from start to finish, kindergarten through 12th grade. That's a great thing. This would make a great teacher's gift as well. Um, add photos from the teacher all year. Are you going to have paper you use for the insert pages yet? Oh, no. Are you talking about the, are you talking about this paper, the coffee dyed paper? Do you guys want coffee dyed paper in the shop? If you want it there, I'll fix it up and we'll get some in there. Pamela Claire, I didn't see you until Miss Ray commented, and now I see you. Y'all, some of you, some of you Facebookers keeping your words from coming through. And I'm sorry that's happening to you. That is out of my control. All right, here we go. This glue that I'm using underneath this sock. <laughs> let me show you what this stuff is called here in a second. It's called neutral pH adhesive. And I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute. I'll take, I'll take the sock off. Um, it was recommended, my glue was coming out very, very thick. And it was recommended that I um, put a sock on it. So I did. I put a sock on it. <laughs> oh, no. Don't lose those. I was about to knock them on the floor. Um, it's neutral pH adhesive. It's by Linco. Lineco, Linco. Not exactly sure how you say it. But um, it's a really good glue. You saw me during the Bex fundraiser? Awesome. I do have good auctions, don't I? Okay. All right. So let me just flip this. And we're going to trim this off on this end as well. And then we're going to do a miter cut. We're going to miter cut our corners. So that way we can do a nice wrap around the chipboard. So I'm coming in. When I get to the corner, I'm rotating. Now I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch paper there. And the reason I do that at the corner is to give it a nice type right. R right. Wrap. Right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Who knows? Where am I located? I'm in Pennsylvania in the United States. For those of you who are not from the United States. And um, I've been doing thrifty flippy events since the first event Lisa did. I love the thrift flip. I think I only missed one, I think. And that was just because it was a scheduling conflict. But yeah, otherwise, Lisa is my sweet, sweet, my sweet, sweet friend from Tennessee. Tennessee, what's the weather like in November in Tennessee? Just curious. Now I'm just massaging the paper. Am I auctioning this week? I don't have time, Charlotte, to do an auction this week. We'll do one next week. Um, we, I have plans with the with two of my three girlos uh, that are coming, and we're canning turkey tomorrow. So you guys can come hang out with the turkeys tomorrow. <laughs> hang out with the turkeys tomorrow because uh, we're canning turkey. Uh, so we're just I'm roasting turkey tonight. And then turkey and gravy uh, will go into the cans. But uh, Elizabeth will be here. Y'all love when Elizabeth hangs out. You live in York County? I live in Schuylkill County. So if you're anywhere near York, we're about an hour and a half away from each other. Yes! Turkey and gravy. Listen, I, it was recommended. Why don't I do turkey and gravy now and then to make it easy for Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> but I don't know. I like that turkey instead of turkey and gravy um, for Thanksgiving. That's just me, though. But yes, um, we have a pressure canner, so we have the ability to can it. 
Oh, in Wisconsin, that is chilly. Listen, we've been enjoying some nice 60 degree weather here in Pennsylvania. That is unseasonably warm for us. Yeah, we're all just big Pennsylvania neighbors. <laughs> all right, let me just add some tape down here and we'll wrap this up. And then we're also going to cover up the inside. We're going to make sure that we get this all good and and we're going to protrude and we're going to protrude and then um, we'll add some pretty papers. So uh, you can also use fabric. I didn't pull any fabrics for this because... Um, Quite honestly, my my stash, my stash room. Oh, by the way, Tanya's Timeless Treasures, Tanya. Listen, your swag bag is at my sister's house. And she said, just give her a text or a call when you want to come over. We were down there till near 2 o'clock today. We had steak sandwiches. Visited with my sister today. You guys, my sister lives about an hour and a half away from me. So, Michigan is chilly today. Okay, start in the center and push out. Okay, so then you don't get any crinkles. Remember, remember, crinkles are bad. Wrinkles are bad, always. Unless you're like 110 years old. <laughs> Ooh, turkey and noodles with mashed potatoes. That sounds good. But I've got to get the turkey in the roaster and roast it overnight. The girls will be here tomorrow morning. And um, so sometime tomorrow morning we'll have a live. And um, the girls will be here to uh, hang out. So, And we'll goof. We'll goof in the kitchen. We'll goof in the kitchen. And down this direction there we go so I'm taking my bone folder and I'm just helping that crease where it folds because then that helps with so it doesn't pucker puckering is bad it's only good when you're smooching how big is it 25 pounds <laughs> somebody's about to go what yes 25 pounds I have a smaller turkey for Thanksgiving but uh, this one that we bought for canning is 25 pounds. But we are splitting it between four families. So between E.B., Kevin, myself, and Josh's... Josh, E.B. and Kevin, me and Larry, Josh and Alicia, and David and Raquel um, will be um, benefiting from a 25-pound... That's a rooster. Um, there you go. There's your turkey sound. <laughs> Listen, and sometimes Larry must come in from the garage and go, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening in that room in there? Okay, so there we have just created a book cover for our junk journal that's going to house this. Now look it. I made the book slightly bigger than the pages, and I did that intentionally. So when I, when I pulled the book apart, I measured the book pages, and the book pages were, you know, a little bigger than six and a half. So that's why I went to the uh, seven inches. To give me a half of an inch of wiggle room because remember this is going to go butt up against here but if i have put anything that will stick out would be great turkey and noodles with mashed potatoes is a pennsylvania thing yeah yes no 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 you put the noodles and the turkey and the gravy and just shh, and then mashed potatoes on the side the mashed potatoes is the side okay so what we have to do now is cover up these two little Spiners here. So these scrap pieces I have laying, I'm just going to cut to eight and a quarter. Okay. And we're going to add, see if it were big enough. It actually is big enough for the, for over the center. This one is the smaller one. I must have measured the smaller one. So we're going to add this to the center here. And then I'm going to grab two more pieces and we're going to cut some matte pieces for the edges. So now we are not, yes, we are starchy people here in Pennsylvania. So that's right over 
the center right there. Okay, let me grab two more pieces of that pretty, pretty blue. Here's one. Let's grab a second. Here we go, you guys. And so we're going to do eight and a quarter by seven and a quarter. No, by six and three quarters. Eight and a quarter. And then we're going to attach one to the front and one to the back. And I'm going to overlap it right over the top of this, okay? So that way, it's going to hold that into place. We're going to we're going to use our little tool here. And we're going to start some scoring just to keep that stuff in place, okay? Don't want that going anywhere. Oh, it's so good, too, especially if you make homemade noodles. Okay, so we are, we're, we're actually creating a junk journal from a book that I thrifted. Because uh, it is the thrift flip event. And we the only requirement we have for this event is we have to must totally flip something one thing at least so my flip is my book <laughs> we do need the carbs don't we yes we do yes we do we have 74 friends can we get a hundred all right so here we go we're going to add this one on here and then we then have a book base and what we're going to do is we're going to put some markings on the spine of this book base as to where we're going to punch out or poke holes in for our um, stitching in our signatures. Now, a signature is a grouping of papers, which when you have a book, books have signatures. Um, so here we go. I think I just want to let that sit for a minute. It's wanting to pucker. There we go. So there we go, guys. We are all well and good and ready to go. There's our book base. We now have a book base. All right. And it's got, it won't matter which is the front and back. This has a, um, uh, a piece together part and so does that. All right. So let's talk about signatures. Um, so this signature here has no book storybook pages in it it has a piece from the paper collection and then it has some copy paper <laughs> copy paper okay any color this brown copy paper is um coffee dyed we have uh paper doilies so this this signature is ready to go Here's coffee dyed paper. Here's, um, oh golly gee willikers. What is this stuff called? This kind. <laughs> we have purple and then we have some coffee dyed again. Here is, uh oh, did I glue it together by accident? Yikes, I did. No. I knew I should have left the red envelopes sit off to the side. Hang on one second. There we go. Okay. Whew, scared me for a second. I was going to say, I have some red envelopes that I had that just matched real, real pretty. And um, I cut the sides off to create pockets. Vellum, thank you. Then we have more of the green, more of the purple, more of the coffee dyed. And that is one signature. Okay. So that's one signature. Now I can add more into this. So that's one. Here's another. I want to add some more stuff into this as well, but I wanted to show you kind of what my thinking is. So here's coffee dyed vellum. Here's doily coffee dyed. And here's the storybook part. But I also included an envelope here that has these really cool butterflies on. I thought were really, really cool. So, um, and it matched sort of where we were going. Here's storybook coffee dyed. Here's more coffee dyed. Okay. So, um, Here's one signature. Here's two signatures. Let, let's talk about what 
things you can add in. Any kind. Anything at all, okay? Anything at all. But I'm starting with... Let me pull these out. These are what I'm adding. Here is... First thing I'm doing is I'm in keeping the entire story intact. This is an... Ex it's a story, but it has a lot of words in it. So it's kind of like a little kid's dictionary. Um, Huckle Cat says hello. He wants you to meet his sister Sally and his good friend Lowly Worm. Now, the little shoes are missing. And we have a little torn piece here. So I want to repair this. I want to repair this because that's going to bother me that we have an issue. Yikes! Where did I put my repair piece of paper I have? That's okay. I can tell you what it's going to be. <laughs> I have uh, dictionary paper. You can purchase some dictionary paper in my... Oh, what is this? I didn't know what this was. This is in here. Wee, somebody was into drawing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep that. Um... So I'm just going to use a piece of dictionary paper. Now, don't hate on me for tearing apart books, okay? Because I'm really giving them new life. This was going to soon end up to the dumpster. But what I want to do is I'm going to add a piece of this, a little strip right along here, okay? So that way it's going to be dictionary paper and it's going to help to repair it. So I want a one-inch strip of just just the words, just the words, you guys. You can use a tearing ruler if you want to, to do this. Okay, let's turn it this way. Listen, work with me here, paper. And we're just gonna go one inch, just one inch is all I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need. Okay. Just like so. So we got dictionary paper. Okay. And we're going to repair this part of this book. Okay. So this is going to go right over the top of here. It's going to cover up the banana, but I promise, and the peach. It'll be okay because we're repairing the page. So we'll add some like flips, flaps, dictionary stuff. We'll we'll make it work i promise okay so let's just add some glue down along here and i'm making sure to get on each side of my cracked little page so i did see you didn't have any yep i do in one of the signatures i have some coffee dyed lined paper yes i do so but yeah you could totally use that for a repair too um, so now I'm just going to trim this off right here and I'm going to trim this off right here. Now, if I would add scotch tape to this, what's going to happen is over years, over the years, the scotch tape is going to yellow. It's going to break down and it's not going to look very nice. So what I want to do is I want to now add some right there. I'm going to do less than an inch here. Um, just because the inch was a little big. So let's just do that less than an inch. Because I don't really want to cover up the boots if I can help it. But I'm trying to fix what's no good. And you don't really want to go into the fold. Because that's going to be in the crease of the book. Okay. So again, right. make sure you get on both sides of your, your little torn piece. Okay. Yeah, I have stickers from the collection. From the paper collection. So here we go. But I didn't really want to cover up the boots. I kind of wanted to leave the boots in place. So that has now fixed, in my opinion, the page. Is it perfect? No. Junk journals aren't supposed to be perfect. Um, you do want to make sure that you are satisfied with how your book turns out. So the only other thing is I have this like ripped off piece right here. And I was going to rip it off here this way, but I can't because part of the story is here. Okay, so then then I can just add this now. So now I got this. And if you really wanted to really get into it, um, if you really wanted to get into it, you could take that dictionary paper and you could cover all of these staple holes if you wanted to but I'm letting them go for now because I have other I have other ideas for this book as well all right so let's start adding papers okay I really love 
when the first paper on the inside is this pretty, pretty lace. Um, okay, and I have plans for this lace too. What's my time? Oh, we have 30 minutes yet. Yay, we're doing good. Um, so in order to keep in the dictionary fashion, I pulled some dictionary paper and I, I tore it, okay? I tore it into what I can add into the center of this part here just to make it kind of cool. We're making it cool. We're making it cool. All right, you guys. And I also have some sticker paper we're going to use here. Okay, so I'm just adding glue. And now it's kind of like a puzzle. Woo, too much, too much. Um, it's kind of like a puzzle, what we're doing. So we're adding this here. Okay. And I wasn't, like, careful. I wasn't careful to what words that I pulled out of here. I could have. Um, but I didn't. Uh, but I did, like, tear it. And I just, you can use tearing paper or a tearing ruler if you want to, but, um, you know, I didn't feel like I had to. There we go. Do, 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 do. And then we have do 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 and we have this so see it's kind of just looking cool looking unique go for unique go for different create some things your own if you if you're not sure how it'll look like I already knew what it was gonna look like because of um I laid it out I laid it out to see what it was gonna look like hello hello Coastal Styles is in the house, you guys. All right, and here's another little piece here. So now we can add some things to this just to make it cool, all right? So uh, let's see, what do I want to add here? Let's do, we have a little boy right over the top. And these are just stickers from the collection. And... We're going to add this at the top. It says, I know my ABCs. And then I have a little girl to also go off to the side here. And that just, see? Yep, you can use stamps. You can use whatever you want. You can coffee dye your white paper as well. So now on this side, I'm leaving this part alone because then it leaves a place for journaling. But now this is going to be, as soon as I open my book, this is the first thing that you're going to see. So what do I want to add next? Easy. I want to add a piece of coffee dyed paper next. So coffee dyed paper is cut down to seven and three quarters, okay? So it's slightly smaller than the other. And then here we go like this. So we have this open, open, and then this is where we can add some other things. Uh, I'm gonna leave this and we're gonna come over here and I have some pretty vellum. You can write on vellum you can stamp on vellum. You can do all of the fun things on vellum. All right. And we're going to add some coffee dyed line paper and white paper. Or coffee dyed paper and coffee dyed line paper. And then we also have some coffee dyed and an envelope. All right. So let's see how many pages do we have now? Because 10 to 12 is my ideal, my opinion, my ideal uh, amount of papers for a signature. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm thinking I want to add two from the paper collection to make this more fun. Let me put my stickers on to the side over here and let's pull out the paper from the collection. Now, on my front cover, I wanna do this page on my front cover. Um, 
and so I'm going to set that to the side. We're not going to use that right now because I don't think we're going to, we might get to the cover, but let's get to the signatures and how they get stitched in there. Same way with this. I want to use this on a cover. So what else do we have from this collection that will be fun for a journal? This, these are cut aparts. Look at the back of the cut aparts. School paper. So these are going to be all my journaling cards. I am not doing anything but journaling cards with these. So what else do we have? We have school paper with chalkboards. We have crayons with red dots. We got pencils that have stars. So um let's let's do let's, i like the crayons okay let's let's do with the crayons for this part so seven and three quarters high is how high i'm cutting my add-on papers okay and then what i just did was i just put it on the scoreboard and i scored it at six inches to get that to kind of start to fold so that way it's nice and easy Okay, so now what do we want to do here? I think I want to do this. There we go. Look at that. How fun is this? Okay, now I just need one more kind of fun paper to do in this. And this is cardstock that I'm adding. So that's great for adding um, all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> Pictures journaling all that stuff so seven and three quarters high keeping my scraps and then just because it's cardstock i'm scoring it if it's just copy paper or writing paper um you don't have to you love opening a new pack of crayons i think i need a pack of crayons for this journal Okay, so I folded it with the pencil side out because in the book, in the signature, I want to add the crayons that are beyond the, see that? Like, how cool is that? All right. And then we have the rest of our story pages. So here we go. Whoops. All right. So this is now a signature. Okay. So we have this signature. We have this signature okay and then we have this signature this signature also needs some things added to it um like <gasps> didn't i bring it in here hang on hang on i think i have it right in the other room i hope i didn't catch it Okay, so I have this paper. It was a composition book that was for like um, elementary school. So it has writing and then drawing at the top. So the only thing is, is this definitely needs trimmed down. And I want to leave, I want to leave equal parts here. So let's just do this. See at the bottom down here, I'm going to cut off these two bottom lines. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to go to the seven and three quarters. All right. Very thin paper, so you got to be careful so you don't tear it up on the copier. All right, so there we go. So now we have this. Listen, it's also a little bit longer than I want it to be. So, oh, fingers crossed, I'm just adding it down to seven inches. I knew that was going to happen. That's all right. Nice and easy. Light hands, Jimmy Lee. Light hands. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we now have this that we can add into here. So, we got one and two 
Okay. So there's two pages. So look at now this is great because you can draw and write. You can add a photo and write. How cool is that? Especially, especially if you get like rubber stamps that have like the crayon or the handwritten look. Um, super fun. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so I have twelve in here as well. So all of my three sets of signatures are all now ready to go inside of my book. Now look at, look at how much room I could actually, you guys, we can add a fourth signature. We can add a fourth signature, no word of a lie. So you guys tell me, should I add a fourth? If I am adding a fourth, I'm gonna have to do it off camera, away from you guys, because I'm just not gonna have the room to do it. Um, so we have two options here. We have two options because we have 20 minutes. We can do we can do the cover work and sew the signatures in after I create a third a fourth signature, which that's what I'm voting for. But we can decorate the front cover. Okay. You're saying Teeny is saying I can squeeze a fifth one in there. I don't know, Teeny. This has it would be pretty tight to get a fifth one in there. Because I want to also leave rooms. You guys want me to leave. Oh man, y'all are going to split it down the middle, aren't you? So I got one saying yes and one saying no. Another one saying yes, probably the next one will be no. <laughs> so tell me, what should we do? Let's, um, let's start working on the cover on the inside. Because I am going to add some decorative paper here, here, and here. Yeah, I can do a waterfall on the cover. We can do one on the on the cover. Okay. The cover piece I want to use is down there. All right. So my covers, remember, are eight and a half. So I need my decorative paper to be eight and a quarter, just so that I can frame that off. Look at that. That's like perfect. Yes to another signature. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to add four because I'm going to add all kinds of stuff to it. This book is by no means going to be finished today. None whatsoever. Absolutely not. Can't do it. Okay, but look at how pretty this is going to be. And then we have this on this side. Okay, so um, I think to so have this nice and bright to the inside front cover. Let's do that. And remember that was seven inches. So this is going to be six and three quarter. Then this side of the paper, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this because my spine was two and a half. So we're going to cut it at two and a quarter. And I like it. I don't know. You guys tell me, do you like the ABCs? Because I'm not punching the holes for the signature until I get the covered paper. Do you like the ABCs for the cover on the inside? I do. This paper here is like, it's um, dictionary paper and ABCs here. I'm going to keep that for the other signature. And then let's use this one. I like the school bus. Let's try to get the school bus in there. So eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter high. And you know what? Let's let's use let's utilize this. Two and a quarter of this is going to be for my outside of that. Okay, and then this. Uh, do, 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 if I do six and three quarter, I'm going to cut that school bus off. This school bus is already cut off. So let's do this. And then we're going to do this. Six and three quarter. And we're getting that school bus kind of in there. So the back cover, we'll do a waterfall. We'll do that another day. 
That's okay. She may just not have gotten to you. Just watch for her on the lives. She's usually somewhere on the lives. So we'll do a waterfall on the back cover. We'll do a pocket on the front cover and the signatures in between. And then the signatures are going to get all kinds of fun stuff in there. So I love how this is turning out. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Let me get my glue bottle. It's got a little bit of gunk on it. So keep in mind, if you have stuff like this, you can then use this for bookmarkers, um, ephemera. If you like to fussy cut, if you don't like to fussy cut, then, you know, use your circle punches, which I did use my circle punches and I created this cool little, little piece of school days. Um, and then I have a bunch punched out from other stuff in what I was doing. So let's add this. Do, 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 do. So you guys, as soon as the chipboard comes in, I'll be adding it to the Shopify so you can um, purchase um, from me if you like. Okay, so we're just adding this in. I'm going up to the bending line, but not over the bending line. Last thing you want is for your bending line not to be able to bend because that would really suck. I'm just stink. That would really stink. <laughs> Yow! Jimmy Lou, take it easy, woman. Like a wild woman today. It's just a baby wipe, you guys. If you're careful, it won't hurt your. If your paper is good paper, it won't hurt it. Look at how. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> Let's try not to do that again. All right, so here we go. Here we have this. We're adding right here to the center. Okay. So now I'm going to show you something that I really want to do here um, as part of the ABC kind of thing is with the dictionary paper. Um, we're going to take my ruler, my little Timmy Holtz ruler here, and... I'm just laying this here. We're just doing this. And then I'm just going to do kind of like from the bottom to the top. And we're just going to tear this away. Just because I think it will look kind of cool to do that. And then we can tear this off right here. Along here. Okay, let's eyeball this and see what it looks like. Okay, we need a little bit off here. This isn't by no means a tearing ruler. It's just fun. Okay, so we're going to go right along there and I'm gonna tear a little bit off the bottom. Uh, on the main page, there are a bunch of posts for Shopify. I am working out the details for um, the combined shipping. So if you do see more than one item that you want to order, you can send me a private message and um, I'll, I will, um, I'll do the order off of Shopify and pull the items for you. Um, Cause apparently I have something going haywire with the Shopify and it does not want to combine shipping. And I've done everything that they've asked me to do and still no go. So I have to actually get in touch with them to get that fixed. So. Okay, so we added some glue to this. Whoops. And we're gonna go right right down the center and just add that. So now I know the signatures are going to get sewn in here, but it still should be pretty in between. Don't you think? I think so. That's my opinion. The signatures are going to get sewn in. So in between, you're going to get to see, um, no Hershey, Pennsylvania is the, um, crafty bunch and the messy craft corners, uh, road trip will be in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm looking into a couple of places for the one here 
in um, Pennsylvania for the junk journal. The junk journal class is going to be around that area. You'll be able to fly into either Allentown or Harrisburg. Um, you could you could fly into Wilkesbury, but you'll have quite a drive. But um, so if you're starting to think about how you want to fly in, if you need to fly, you can always message me. Okay, so there we go. All right, so look at now that's the inside of the cover. We're just going to do the outside. I don't want to go past my time. We have 10 minutes. We're good. We're good. Okay, so I like this for the outside as well. And I kind of really like the idea of tearing the um, paper. So we, I'm just going to go ahead and use this as part of it. I know I kind of have a little there, but that's all right. Have an idea for that too. Um, but I think it'll look cute. I do. I do, I do, I do. All right, let's add this. You're coming, you're coming, um, Tanya, you're coming to the junk journal class? Yay. All right, so we're going to add this here. Now, when we go to add the holes, which I'm going to do like the whole measurement and do a little um, thing to show you where to punch the holes, it's going to go through all of this. And we'll probably set some eyelets too. Um, to create that. So we're just going to add this kind of along there. Oh, I can't get my fingers on it, you guys. I must have pushed down too hard. <laughs> Hang on. All right, so now I got it started. Oh, yeah. There we go. You know what? Baloney on the roller. So we're going to add this piece here. We're, we can get another piece um, for along the bottom down there just to do a... I like that. I like that look. Do you guys like that look? Give me some hearts if you like that look. It is going to be a hoot. It's just a retreat. It's not a big, long thing, um, but you will learn some of the stuff that I do here, and you'll have me in person to help you, uh, you know, when you get stuck or whatever, and uh, it'll be fun. We will have fun. All right, here we go. So there we go. We have, we have some at the top and some at the bottom, and I just like that kind of torn look, right? Y'all like the torn look? Okay, so now I just need to cover my front and my back. And I have these two here. One is chalkboard and one is the I Know My ABCs. And I really like the I Know My ABCs. Now listen, I know it's like first words, but that's okay. So we're going to go eight and a quarter. eight and a quarter and then we're going six and three quarters that's going to cover our front cover look how pretty i like the blue i don't i was doubting myself about the blue there for a little bit but i do like the blue the blue is going to kind of frame that out very nicely so and we're going to add some things onto the front of this eventually uh, like I said, we're probably not getting this done today. So let's add this on here. And then let me show you something, what we can do with these like word uh, cards here on the back. Let's add this. Okay. All right. And then on the back side of this, we're cut apart. Look at their little, um, their little words, little flashcards. That's the word I'm looking for. So I'm just going to cut these apart, you guys. We're just going to cut these. Okay. Go right down the middle here. If, if my eyes don't fail me. Yep, we're good. <laughs> I have stuff stuck to my finger. Okay, so... You can use your cutter to cut these apart if you trust yourself. I don't really trust myself, so I'm just going to use scissors and my old lady eyes, you guys. You got to give me give me a break. 
mole lady eyes. But we're going to cut these apart. There's two. Now you can use these as tuck spots, as all kinds of fun little things. These ones here, we're going to use, we're going to round up the corners of them. Give me a sec. Yep. ATC cards. Yep. In the pockets. Can totally do that. Do, 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 do. You could cover the back to make them like journal spots if you want. You can make little pockets with them. All kinds of fun things. So you're going to see me use several different things for this. Okay, so corner rounder. I got my corner rounder. And I'm just using my small side. And just round these up, you guys. Just like a flash card would be. Artist trading cards, um, altered, you can also do altered, um, they're, they're basically little, um, like, two, I think they're like two by three. They're real small, uh, like the size of a baseball card and artists trade them one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So here's five little ones all together. If I take a hole and I punch a little hole. Wait, which is my small one? Here's my small one. And I punch a little hole in the center here, like so. Um, I can add, uh, you can add, you can make a dangle out of it. Lots of things you can do with it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Brad and listen, you can't, Jimmy Lou, you can't take forever picking a letter here. Okay, so we're going to do this and I'm going to poke these through just like so. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold these up like this, just like that. And then they can be, you can flash cards, okay? So the back side is going to show this. So all you really have to do for the back side is just cover it up with one of these. Yeah, absolutely. This would be a, a lot of fun. A lot of fun for school day stuff, for sure. All right, so I'm just going to attach this to this one here on the back. And I only want the one on the back because I want to make sure that I'm covering up that bra that last brad, the back side of the brad, okay? But then look at you guys, then this can get added into a little pocket. There's so much fun kind of stuff like this that you can do um, with these books. Okay, we have three minutes. Next up is Mon Cherie. You guys, Sherry's link is in the description of this video. Also, the free group. You can join the free, absolutely, totally, totally free group um, over on... Uh, that link is also in the description of this video. So I have this little school days patch. We're going to add this to the cover. Also, I have cut aparts that I really, really love. We have three minutes. Can we, can we, can we, we might could, we might could, um, we no, we might couldn't because they're all like off centered. <laughs> so let's see, we could do this one. Cut this one off. Okay. And then we got this one here. Do, do, do. Somebody asked me, how long does it take me to come up with these ideas? Sometimes not long at all. Um, today, I really struggled deciding what book to pull out here to do. So it really does depend. But um, I also want to use the book of crayons or the box of crayons here. So let's trim this up. So these are cut apart and you can use these in all different parts of your books. 
Now, somebody can say she's not really doing a true junk journal. That is true. It's not really a truly true junk journal. However, um, it's in junk journal fashion. And um, junk journals can be whatever you really want them to be. Okay? Just saying. Whatever you want them to be. So, let's see. This here needs a little trimity. Trimity trim. Let's round these up. I don't think I'm using this on the cover. I just decided. But my cover is going to look something along this line with my ABCs and my crayons sort of stacked. And then school days here. And then who knows what else. I'm probably going to add some of that dictionary paper um, just to, to pull that all together. It is on here as well. So, um, lots of fun things to do. Head on over to Mon Cherie Craft Creations, you guys, and, um, create something awesome. Uh, we'll finish this up. I don't know. Maybe this weekend we'll just have a let's work on it session. Uh, and we'll, we'll work on whatever Jimmy Lou is feeling. Cause who knows what Jimmy Lou could be feeling. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Remember to always be kind, no matter what, because you never know what someone might be going through. And I'll see you guys all real soon. Bye guys.